One of the things that I am focused on is trying to get our astronauts to Mars by, you get it, you guessed it, 2033, all right? And so um, first question I have is for you, how uh, will this rover, you know, 20, 2020, our mission in 2020, how will that help us, inform us to get humans to Mars uh, by 2033? Well, I think it's important to note that, that Mars 2020 has a very strong collaborative involvement from the, from the human side of NASA, and uh, that is manifested in, in several different ways. Uh, most notably, you heard about the, the MOXIE demonstration of in situ resource utilization. In addition, we have a um, weather station uh, which will characterize the environment, will also characterize dust, and dust on Mars is a, is a big concern for human explorers. And in addition, um, during entry, descent, and landing, we'll have a very sophisticated um, observation package. Um, it, it, uh, understanding what goes on during EDL is absolutely critical and almost impossible to simulate uh, either on a computer or in an analog experiment on Earth, so this is very important data. And as Dr. Green mentioned uh, in answer to the question of of, uh, of you know, bringing, bringing rocks back before people back. It's a very, sen a very sensible thing to do. Obviously, there's no commitment to do that, but there's a, there will be a tempting target to uh, learn from if those samples come back. Okay. 